All right, in the last lesson, we talked about one way to visualize decimals, which was sort of pieces of a whole. We're going to look at a different way to visualize them in this lesson, this lesson, which is on a number line, because I can think of how far along a number line I have gone. All right, so this one, we start at zero, we go to one. It's important to look at where we are. Now this one, let's look at how many pieces it's divided up into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're dividing it into tenths. So I can think of this as one tenth as a fraction, or I can think of it as one tenth as a decimal. So I have two tenths or 0 0.2, 2 tenths as a decimal. And I could continue, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths. Let's label 7 tenths to get another label on there. 8 tenths, 9 tenths. Now these are just tenths. And yes, we are going to talk about hundredths because I want to look at something. If we went in between two of these, what would we get? Say we went in between one tenth and two tenths. Say I was like, okay, what's right in between there? Well, you might be thinking there's nothing in between one and two. How can I possibly go in between two numbers? Look at this. One tenth is the same as 10 hundredths. Think about that picture that we made with the visual box, how one line is the same as 10 little pieces. And here I have 20 hundredths. Well, what's right in between 10 and 20? 15 hundredths. In between there, we also have 11 hundredths and 12 hundredths and 13 and 14 and 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, all the way up to 20. If I were to make 10 little dashes, okay, I could count by hundredths instead of tenths. Or if we had seven here, seven tenths, and then we have eight tenths as our next one. But if I were trying to go in between there, what's in between there? Well, this is seven tenths, but it's also 70 hundredths. This is eight tenths, but it's also 80 hundredths. So I could have 71 hundredths, and then 72, and then 73 hundredths, all the way up to 79, and then 80. So that's how I can think about what's in between two dashes on a number line. Again, make sure you've written this down. Now this is similar. I just want to look if we start at 2 and then we have 3 and 4. The main thing that changes is that whole number. So, for example, this one right here. I know I'm going to have three point something because it's in between three and four. And I could say, okay, it's divided up into ten pieces. So I know I'm in tenths. One, two, three, four, five. So three and five tenths is what is uh, what that dot is pointing to. Remember, this is three and six tenths. If I wanted to think what's in between there, then I could think of this as 50, that is 60, and then I have 3.51, 3.52, etc., etc. Or if I said, okay, what's right there? Well, I know it's going to be 2 point something. Two, this is point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. And then we're not going all the way up to point 0.4 yet, but if I think of this as point 0.30 right here, then I know a little bit more than that is going to maybe be 34, 34 hundredths, 35 hundredths, 36 hundredths, something in that area. We're not going to look at all of these arrows here, but let's look at D right here. So I know I'm bigger than zero. I know I'm bigger than one. I'm less than two. So it's going to be one point something. I can say, okay, the lines are notating tenths. So this is like one and one tenth, one and two tenths. Okay, so three, four, five, 
3, 1 and 6 tenths, 7, 8. So it's going to be 1.8. This would be 1.9. So in between there is maybe 84, 85, somewhere in there. So I can go in between by getting smaller pieces. So remember, that's the same as 10. That's the same as 20. So right here would be 1.80 or 1 and 80 hundredths. So I'm just a little bit more at 1 and 84 hundredths. One more example. Again, I'm not going to do all of them, but I just want to look. Make sure you know which whole numbers you're in between because that will let you sort of narrow down your options. If I were to look at this arrow right here, what's my whole number going to be? 4 because I'm in between 4 and 5. So I have 4 and another part. Decimals are a part, just like fractions are a part. So I can count and say, okay, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, or sixty hundredths. Either way, those are equivalent. Your uh, worksheet I, is going to point to things in between the tenths. So just remember, switch it to hundredths. Add those zeros so that you can change it into hundredths if you need to. Let me know if you have questions. I am always happy to help and clarify and explain more and give more examples. Good luck.